Do you remember this song? Time travel that just takes me back to being four or five years old, sat in front of a tiny black and white portable TV. Amazing. Um, the original, I think, is played on a mandolin. And if you want to play along with the TV show, you're going to need a guitar with 26 frets, and you're going to need to play it the ninth uh, capo on the ninth fret. So it would sound like. That, I think, is in the same key as the original. Uh, now, I just played it there with the capo on the seventh fret. Um, and I still need every one. I've got 24 frets on this guitar, and I need, I still need that note. So I thought I would show you how to play it um, with no capo. So, so that everyone can have a go at it. So um, even on an acoustic guitar, you should be able to reach the high notes. Now this tune is, uh, uses the open G string as a drone, which basically goes through the whole tune. So um, that sort of sounds, that sounds like this. So, goes on and on and on through the whole through the whole thing <clears throat> and then the melody gets uh, picked out on the E string so um, there's a chord shape at the start which is this one which is uh, there you go so that's uh, the B string second fret and the top E string fourth fret All right, we'll go Is again later at the very end uh, but apart from that it's all messing about on the top E and um, using this uh, this this note here to, to drone it's quite good fun to mess around with so have a play with that but back to the tune at hand so yeah, there's a chord shape at the very start. And it goes to the ninth fret, down to the seventh. Start from the ninth again and go. Uh, fourth open. So so it's like ninth, seventh. Yeah, ninth, seventh, five, two. So it's nine. Yeah, nine, seven, five, two. Nine, seven, four, open. This one, nine, seven, five, two is. And then nine, 
0.74 open. Then we go back to the 9752. That's a lot of numbers, that's quite confusing, but so, so what I've just done there is second bit I'll be right back okay I'm back uh, my studio technician needed some chocolate okay so we were going then the next bit is is the seventh fret fourth fret and open Seventh, fourth to open to hammering off the twelfth fret down to eleven. So you're going. So seventh, fourth, open, twelve, eleven. This sounds best if you if you sort of pluck upwards, so you're kind of hitting the the open B with uh, sorry the open G string with um, with you with with this finger. You don't you don't sort of want to go or or even pluck them at the same time. It just sounds a bit too mechanical there. So you just want to play those. You want to play them with an upstroke, so you're just hitting that. You'll just keep it ringing while you're playing the melody. So whatever, yeah. So seventh, fourth, open, twelfth, eleven, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Then you're going to go fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventh, uh, seven, nine, eleven. So the four, <laughs> so it's fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, seven, nine, eleven. Then you're going to go 12, 14, 16.
<laughs> I can't explain it any better than that. Um, I bought an app uh, with which I can make tablature. I'm kind of shying away from that because uh, it just does my brain in, but um, I will do it because I can see that my explanation of this is a, a, a little bit wanting. But. <laughs> I suppose I could try and play it one more time with the capo on the seventh fret. Let's try it. It's very confusing. All the markings are in different places when you play it in two different positions, which is why it's taken me about 50 takes to get this. Also want to slow down a little bit just at the end. Can you hear those biscuits ringing? Slow down a little bit at the end because it's uh, the whole thing is the is the clockwork in the in the music box just slowing down and stopping. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yes, please like and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much. I'll see you again. Bye.